<laughs> it's trio night. Okay, so it is trio night, and I have to tell you, I don't remember this night from previous seasons. I don't mm -hmm. know why I don't really remember it at all. I don't. Don't they usually do like a trio night, but it's with like another pro? Yeah, and I think it's like more into the season too. Whether they had done it before or not, I did love it because I loved getting to see like the dancers of seasons past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But okay. I felt like it was a little unfair because how can you like let somebody get Maddie Ziegler, who's Sia's number one dancer, and right. then somebody get Jordan Kimball, who is no one's <laughs> number one? No one's ever won anything. Who's but never danced before ever, ever in yeah. life. Or torn a shirt off. Or, uh, yeah. No. Well, you think you would have had practice with that on The Bachelor, but here- Will I mean a model? I kind of see opposite on that too, because <laughs> like, I think depending if you have Maddie Ziegler, like you have to dance to the level where you're not being outshined by Maddie Ziegler. That's true, that's true. Yeah. Trio night is hard because it's yeah. like, they have to co uh, coordinate some choreography that brings everyone into it. Yeah. And you have people that don't really dance a lot. Even the return Champions, I was like, oh, they haven't danced for a while. Yeah. Oh, and how great was it to see Amy Purdy? I love Amy Oh, yeah, my Purdy. goodness gracious. And then she put on her pointy legs. Mm -hmm. And I just think it is so incredible. She was one of my absolute favorites that season. Yeah. Um, and I just love seeing her again. And she hasn't missed a beat. No. Mm -hmm. No. Oh my God. She hasn't missed a beat. The others, Rashad Jennings, I was like, oh, he hasn't danced for a while. Well, and also, how about Rashad Jennings coming in and breaking Demarcus's finger? Can uh, we talk about that for a how second? How composed is Demarcus? He was like, yeah. They showed no, to us and it was broken. like it was like that. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah. I was like, how about he tried to pop it back in? He's like, oh, you just broke it. Fix it. I mean, I assume that's what they do at football practice. Yeah. No, that's I don't it. Know. I've never been you to a football it. practice. You what? Can't tell. Shocker. <laughs> Shocker in the cube. Let's start off by talking about our highlights of the night. Because right. there were some people that I thought were just absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start off by pointing out Milo. Yes. Milo. Oh. Week Mi after week. Week after week. First of all, Milo, Whitney, and then they brought in Riker, who was with Allison Holker. Who was one of my favorites. Wife. Yeah. yeah, he was great. He didn't win, but he came, I think, and Second. he was a runner up. Yeah. And they just look like three pros. They did look like three pros, but my problem with Milo is that I feel like he dances alone a lot. I feel like he would be very happy if everyone else was gone yeah. and he was just there doing his thing. And yeah. this one, uh, Riker and Milo move very similarly. Yeah. yeah. So Whitney had a lot to work with that week. And totally. one thing I think Whitney did awesome at compared to every other pro was direction. Mm -hmm. I think when you have three people that are dancing, you need to know not just what the choreography is, but also where your cameras are going to be. Mm -hmm. I have to say another highlight for me of the night was Ivana. I, love I know her. we bring her up every week, but I good energy. She was a little sloppy this week. Let's Ooh. talk about her friend because nobody ever would have thought that Hogwarts. a Slytherin and a Ravenclaw would come together. <laughs> yeah. Only dancing with the stars brings together I mean, the two really, houses. So they brought in Pansy Parkinson, notable Slytherin. Lena Love did um, Pansy Parkinson. They all start with the same letter. She wasn't a professional dancer. Mm -hmm. We didn't really know anything about her, so I, I didn't know how she was going to be. And then she was like incredible. Well, I just love that they had fun. Yeah. And from the setup piece, the laughing and all that, I think she's really starting to, you know, come into her own. And I think the people confidence. at home. Confidence. She's got a yeah. lot of confidence. She did her first lift. Oh, I know. Of and this she did. Season. They did they were, those lifts were great. Yeah. She did awesome. And you know, the other person that I thought was incredible was Mary Lou. I love Mary oh, Lou. Oh, yes. Mary Lou. Mary she Lou held her own. Mary Lou How tiny is she? She's like four tiny. foot three. Yeah. And also, how sweet was it when, like, in the setup package, when she, like, started oh, crying? Right. And, and then they were, like, Nasty and her, where they're like, you're okay. I was like, I want to be in that trio. I love seeing that part of her in the setup package and then, you know, just like everybody like rallying around her. Yeah. But then in the dance, you saw a completely different side of her. That's like the it thing. was her first time where I saw such an authentic yeah. smile. My favorite in life. We love yeah. him. We love him in life. We love him in The Bachelor. We love his smile. He's adorable. We love him trying. He's trying. Joe. Grocery store Joe. Yeah. So, grocery store Joe. And Jordan. I will say, yeah, got Jordan this week, who was good to see Jordan, good to see him doing well uh, after yeah. his, no, after what's been going what, oh, yeah, well yeah, yeah, with yeah, him yeah, and yeah. Jenna. That's right. He was smiling. Lots of drams. Um, but, yeah, they just, you know, I think missed the mark a bit on the dance. Well, I think he's missed the mark since week one. But Stop now, being a bully! I know, I know, he's I know. He's not being but, a bully. He's just but now he, at least he's leaning critiquing. into it yeah. and, like, seeing that it's all comedy. Jenna's seeing that it's comedy. Oh he you also can't, just can't go home. Like, he he just can't, can't go home. And then, honestly, out here. is he back here? Let me no, check. No, he's not here. Oh, Careful, that would be nice. Yourself. There's a ball up there. Okay, hold on. Nope. No oh, Joe? There. Nope, no Joe. All right, he's not back there, but maybe he'll be next time. I'll Good check again. Check. <laughs> and our new segment is Joe behind, behind the, the wall. wall. You know what my favorite trio move is? Come here. I know what it is. You know, do you know I'll what be behind. I'll be oh, behind. Yeah, it's got to be this. Here. It's like it's, it's this. Oh, yeah. No, you're I'm, I'm, I'm here too. We're all going together. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but I then you're all like, yeah. yeah. And you like, that that mm, one. I love doesn't that make movie. Any sense. Yeah. Okay, and so obviously, you know, the sad, the saddest part of the night was, and I was a little surprised, but we sent Tanache home. Bye, Tanache. Yeah. Which but, we had originally had her as a front runner. Well, yes, that was early on. But she was a great dancer, and yeah. I liked getting to know her. I wish I could have gotten to know her better. I think. But we'll for see now, and she'll have to be on my computer screen. Right? Okay, well, you guys, now it's time. You've been waiting for this. I know you have. It's time to play our favorite game. Who did, Who did you, you spot in the audience? Okay, so this was a, a good one. Did you spot anybody? I spot one person. I only and they called one. her out. Sean Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. Who I love seeing another gymnast and also big Dancing with the Stars winner. Yeah. yeah. Of the past. She's a big alumni. Miles Brown from the kids' season. Miles is just like hanging out he, in the From Blackish. He's the only one I ever see. Kendall obviously was there yeah, again. Obviously. Yeah, obviously. Our consistent. And then I saw somebody oh, in the go. way corner. You had to know that it was him to see it. John O'Hurley. What? I know. Peterman from Peterman Seinfeld. Peterman from Seinfeld, Who also, yes. I looked up, was a Dancing with the Stars alumnus. Okay, you guys, but real quick, while we're in this segment, we have to talk about the big blunder that we made last week. Okay, remember when we were like, who's that hot guy and that girl oh, next to okay. him? If you know who these two people are. Boing, 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 boing. Comment below. <laughs> It was Kelsey Ballerini, huge country star, who had just been on our show. Oh, doofuses, we doofuses, both missed doofuses. It. Kelsey we Ballerini both and it. who was the guy then? Chuck not, not, Wicks. Okay, so also not, a country star, and they were there for Bobby Bones. Okay. Okay. Who oh. I have to say, just bring it back, Bobby's growing on me. That's how you play. Who, who did, did you spot, spot in the audience? A big thanks to you all for watching. And tune in next to a week to see which one of us is going home. And, and comment below to tell us what you think. One of us is going home? No. It's trio night. She's laughing over me. Is that fine? Carrie Ann and Nava. It's trio night. Why do you have to say Carrie Ann and Nava? Because it gets me in. It's his moment before. It's his moment before. Yeah.